Let us continue about few more projects using applying the concepts that we have learned in this course. Now, this is the third case studies. Here also again we will discuss two projects. The first project that is we are going to discuss about the systematic design towards an advanced calculator. Now, we have already have an idea about how a calculator can be designed and now we discussed about how the same can be applied to develop more advanced calculator. So, first phase that we will consider about designing a simple ca calculator using the simple features this is the beginning of the projects and then we will slowly try to add few more features. For example, few more functionalities, more operations, equations, others and then finally, we will develop an advanced calculator having more complex functionalities like this uh, using brackets, uh, bracketed expre ex expression and then some others also and then scope of customization, setting the styles and everything. So, let us discuss about the flow of the projects, the different steps or the versions of the project. In the first version, as we are very much familiar to this kind of projects and we have developed this kind of project using applet, you can do it in the using simple non applet program also using swing or AWT as well as. Anyway, so both applet version and then non applet version program also can be written for this purpose. So, this is very simple, we have already have an idea about that this is a few buttons are to be there, one text field, text field area will be there and then user perform any operations, those operations are basically uh, binary operations like no unary operation. For example, square root, cube, log all these things not involved here, so it is simple. So, here you have to just create the layout and then include certain component into that layout and then finally, uh, you have to add the listener methods, so that events can be handled. So, there are many programs you can find in the internet, so far the Java calculator is concerned right. You can check all the programs those are available, try to understand those programs. In this course also we have used several programs for Java calculator, as a Java calculator you can nurture those programs also, then you will be able to learn it. Then you can try to modify of your own like say setting the different fonts or the button color or whatever it is there, so that you can exercise whether the change that you have desired whether you can reflect it into the program and you can see it or not. So, this will basically gives a lot of practice and then as a beginning of the design of a calculator this is must actually. Now, our next part is basically is a little bit improved version. So, this is the simple calculator we have already disc, uh, we have uh, we have already uh, learned about after learning the simple calculator our next step this is a basically simple calculator as we see and then we will be basically change this into this one you can see the difference here the difference is basically <coughs> as you see the difference here uh, is basically uh, add few more buttons as we have mentioned here. So, few more buttons we have added here like say uh, C buttons uh, C means clear then is a ok whatever the previous calculation we can load into the memory and then read our memory can be clear and here we have used one more uh, functionality say square root calculation or square calculation whatever it is there. Now, I can advise you to have this is a usual symbol not the square level the square root symbol can be put into there also. Okay, so, we have checked that okay, after adding this one how the same calculator can be improved to have this kind of look and how the event handling operation related to this C M or M R M C can be added there you will be able to try to do that and then okay, you that is the only thing that you have to apply your ideas about how these things can be done. So, let us see whether you can do it or not. 
in case suppose you are finding any difficulty we will be available uh, to have any interaction not the direct online interaction rather you can send your problems through mail or you can uh, request for an interaction program so that we can sit and then discuss and solve the problems. But before that you should fire all the problems to us so that we can go through the program problems and then get ready to resolve it quickly. The next version of this is basically to have the more improved calculator design. So, this is the last calculator version we have to change it into there as you see in this calculator version we can do many things. So, the previous calculator is basically adding two numbers and uh, uh, operation then it will give the result, but here we can do say add sub division together many operations and then finally, the result. So, 5 plus 6 plus 10 into 2 minus 8 that is the result will be calculated like. So, this calculator will provide this facilities in addition to this, this calculator also allow to have the bracketed expression, bracketed expression means is basically within this bracket. So, 2 plus 3 multiplied by say 5 it basically give the result accordingly. So, the brackets and then complex bracket all the matching parenthesis should be there it should be in case of there is an error in the matching parenthesis your calculator should report an error message on the screen I mean text field area instead of the result. And so, this is the method that we have discussed is an improved version of the previous one you have to add few more buttons and then for each button you have to add the listening methods. And then finally, the next is advanced calculator design and as you see little bit more buttons are there and here I have made it little bit uh, okay, open space for you. So, that you can think about how more advanced calculator more sophisticated calculator can be designed. You can follow for an example the Casio math calculator which is very famous among the students popular among the students. So, you can follow this calculator and see whether the same can be developed in your Java environment and you can see many calculator available in your windows environment in your Linux system as well as if you have the mobile com mobile also you can find many calculator there also you can think about a calculator the calculator that you can develop in Java can be exported to your mobile setting. So, that mobile app as a calculator can be used your advanced calculator. Now, let us see what is the advanced component that we are thinking about. So, power button that we have considered that means, if we click the power for example, so all the things will be deemed and then there will be no highlights like that it seems that the calculator is power off like. So, it is power on and off like sort of thing. So, some setting changes and after that power on and off if anybody use any keys and everything. So, calculator will not work for you. So, it become disabled and then there is about. So, here you can see the different other component style. So, suppose you have to change the background because I do not like this background. So, user can customize the background color foreground color font, font size and then orientation if you want to change the orientation in this slide or everything that you can allow using this one. And exit basically if you do certain changes whatever it is there exit. Now, you can replace this exit button with some other buttons like all other trigonometric functions say sin, cos, tan, cot like this one that also if you collect it and then this, uh, this operator will add because if you add more buttons the size of the applet will increase and at the cost of size of the fonts and button size and then error will be there. If you want to click this one by mistake because of the small size in button you go to the some other button or whatever it is there. So, in that case some other functionalities like log functionalities, trigonometric functionalities or some other functionalities can be added there also. Okay. So, this way the calculator can be improved and another scope of improvement is that uh, so log table also can be there and then some statistical table also can be added into this log at uh, this calculator itself so that in the memory the table will be stored and whenever you give any value say degree of freedom and then the value then it will result the return so if you are okay little bit knowing about the statistical process or statistical 
uh, tables or distribution function all these things those also thing can be incorporated into it. There are many scope of improvement again. Now, here we have designed the calculator in English, but those do not know English for them how this calculator can be facilitated. So, for these things all the things which are there in English uh, it can be converted into other language Hindi or some Telugu or Tamil like. So, here all these characters can be changed it is just minimum effort is required. So, in the style file or about or in the setting file you can change that calculator in which language. So, language setting also can be there. So, lot of things can be done and this way you can innovate that how you can better calculator can be designed and the calculator design is a very good example for and usually many teacher and the, uh, the many author also they prefer that calculator should be discussed while they discuss the different Java concepts. We have done the same thing also here, but there is a starting point you can go on and carry with this and then learn many things are there. Now, let us come to the next projects uh, this project is again uh, very similar to the project as you can see uh, if you are familiar to uh, Kohn Bonega code Poti right. So, there is one quiz game is there where Mr. Bachchan who is basically conduct this one. So, we can implement the quiz game application, but Bachchan should not be available all the time. So, in uh, in place of Bachchan our computer can play the role of Bachchan. So, here a questions a quiz can be popped up from the repository and then user will be allowed to select a op select an option and if it is a correct option his score will increase and if it is a wrong option or if it has suspect about any results then just like a Kohn Banega Korpati quiz it will basically give that 50 percent off then according the score will be reduced and then only two options will be given out of these two options you have to select all those things can be done. So, this is the exactly quiz game application it is there. Now, let us see what is the idea and for this obviously things uh, to implement it the different concept that you have to apply Java swing is required event handling IO stream is need to be followed and JDBC also to be there. So, if you have the confident about all these concepts then definitely you can start even if you do not have any confident also let us start dealing with these projects and then try to learn as it is required and then this is also one way of learning process. Now, here is the idea about quiz game application. Uh, so, first of all you have to create a question bank. The question bank means it is basically set of all questions may be 500, may be 5000, may be 50000 absolutely no issue there is will be no limit. And then the question bank needs to be prepared and this question bank needs to be maintained in a server. So, in this way JDBC coming into the picture database server is coming into the picture. I will tell you the idea how this question bank server can be created in this project and then user will be allowed to play for this game playing definitely there should be one GUI to be developed. So, a GUI based engine needs to be developed by which it can play the game it will basically ask what questions then questions will be there options will be there then select button will be there other options will be there so many things are there. So, GUI program is basically front end for the user and there are many facilities flexibility. So, the game can be tuned as per the different twist and then requirement is concerned. Now, let us discuss each step one by one so that we can understand about how the project can be carried out uh, one by one. So, the question bank database server creation there are two things that can be done you can add the database by using the SQL commands that is there sitting on the console typing each command at a time and then adding the record into the database. Now, here I want to say is that if the database table needs to be created then what will be the structure of the table it has one field about the question itself then other four fields for the four options then another field the sixth field it should be the correct option because this information is required so that program can process it. And then whenever this database uh, whenever the game is in running condition it will fetch one question as well as all options and then correct option and then will throw the question as well as options 
and then we will select the choice from the user verify the option with the correct one and then accordingly score will be calculated like this one. Now, one process that I told you that you have entered the data one by one, but 500 enter data those are the text and then typing error and everything. So, it is very difficult. So, we can write one program automatically that program will basically take as an input as a document file and then that file will scan and each record will be entered automatically to the server. So, that file can be created using an excel sheet like and I have uh, given an idea here csv file it is just similar to excel file only the comma separated. So, each field will be separated by a comma you have to scan it whenever you find a comma you can take that this is the one field value and then go into that field value the next and so on so on. So, this way six field question four options and then correct option will be selected and then accordingly populated to the database server. So, here is the idea it is given this is the csv file that you created and that can be cut and paste for document can be created and then then one. And that program if you run with another csv file it will automatically update the database easily just running the program itself. So, developing the program only the issues are there, but it is only few lines code is required let us try to do it how the csv file can be read and then content can be retrieved and the same content can be sent and executed as an insert record to the, the, the database server. So, this way it can be done and another thing that okay, there are you the as a database administrator uh, you can create the database table also from the JDBC also you can create the table absolutely no problem whatever the way you there you can do there and there may be different topics can be included in your game. So, the some topics may be say related to the uh, politics, some may be related to the entertainment, some may be uh, related to the other topics say computer science or physics chemistry like this one. User can be given a chance that from which topic he is uh, interested to play the game. So, accordingly topic can be selected may be two or more topics can be selected. So, that the question can be can be fetched from all the topics that the user has selected like. So, topic wise the different tables also can be maintained and it can be updated into the server or data can be loaded with the corresponding topic tables and so on. So, this is the data entry so far the de, I mean um, uh, MySQL the server database creation is concerned. And here is the GUI for gaming at the very beginning uh, stage you can have a very simple look of the uh, game as you see here it will first discuss the question number and then the question will be appear here and then four options like option 1, option 2, option 3 is there and then all the options are not highlighted whenever user select an option it will click it and then here another option that the correct option which will be selected will be displayed or if the option that has been selected is not correct the correct option actually according to this question will be displayed there. Anyway, so it will after selection of an option the correct option will be displayed and accordingly the score also will be computed. So, this GI program will take care of everything. So, here the interface to be developed and for the event handling routine as to be uh, written so that it, it can do the work as per the requirement it is there. So, this is the idea about the first phase of the program. In the second phase GI plus program for gaming as we have seen that at the front end the GI should appear and at the back end there are lot of other activities should be carried out for which we need to develop socket program because GI this GI should uh, interact with the socket that socket will be responsible through the server. So, that or network uh, the if your server is not connected is uh, in the same machine then you have to do it anyway. So, uh, that uh, if you have to have the access to JDBC then you have to have the connectivity and everything are there whether in the host machine and the game may playing machine the same system or in the remote system whatever it is there. So, you can develop the socket program for that that socket will basically run the uh, networking and then JDBC related programs elements and then this is the back end program actually and then this uh, the program will take a selection from the user at the end of the round the correct option will be highlighted and score will be updated these are the program activities that it should go the game will continue until there may be okay, say 15 rounds or until there will be an option that if he wants to 
uh, quit then the quit option should be asked from the user and then quit it and then finally, the game whenever it is over then the total score that he uh, the user the, program, the player has achieved will be displayed on the screen and like this one. So, this is the idea about second version and then third version is basically let us improve the interface as well as the interface will change all the back end program also has to be changed all these things that you have to do it. Here I have given some idea, but you can think some better idea than this one. I wanted to make the idea a little bit simple, so that you can implement you can handle this project uh, in a shortest possible time. And here is the idea that we are going to see here uh, the topic selection should be given as an extra facilities to the user earlier version it was not there. So, topic 1, topic 2 everything is there start quiz and if it is start then it, this button will be changed to the stop quiz like. So, this button will be in a toggle mode one start means the, it will start and then everything will start like this one and whatever the topic that you selected that topic will be highlighted here. So, that user can understand that on which topic he is giving the answer and so in this case only one topic that uh, one user can be selected at a time. So, at every round the user can change this topic and then accordingly the question will be faced the question will be displayed here these are the all same things it is there. So, as we there and then uh, so, here again another facility. So, this is the another improved version of the layout that you can think about and this is another more improved version where we can add few more button as we see. So, remove one question remove two question and all these things. So, remove one question means it is basically one third uh, score will be reduced and then out of four it basically only three out of which one should be the correct of course is there remove two question means 50 50 right means it is basically two questions will two options will be removed and then only two options out of which one is there. So, the the is basically then then the you the player can guess more precisely. So, that the more score can be there it is just like a in the form of a con uh, bonega code for quiz style and then this is the interface that you can develop it. So, here basically few more buttons can be added and for these buttons you have to add the interface program accordingly. So, this is the seventh program and this is the quiz playing game actually we have discussed. I hope you are finding this project interesting and these are the small projects as obviously, because the purpose that I have already told you is a motivated with that you can, uh, you can apply your learning skill to developing this project. And if this project also you can carry out as your uh, undergraduate project curriculum also if you are an undergraduate students like and so this way you can learn much more and then I have given the initial idea not necessary initial idea is you can improve this idea of your own creativity is an essential part should be that the software engineer should have. So, I have also that expectation from you so that you can add few more novelty more creativity in the project. So, these are the seed project we can say starting with this one then improve it and then see what are the uh, best product you can develop. Thank you for your all endeavor. Thank you very much.